OK. This is 14.6 addendum. Example 3. So this is not an overly tricky example, it's just a little bit different than the other two, which is why I'd like to go through it. So here's the situation, we'll say suppose that D is the solid. This will be um, below the cone T equals, say, 9 minus the square root of x squared plus y squared. So there's a cone opening down with vertex at 9. It will be outside x squared plus y squared plus d squared equals 1. That's a sphere centered at the origin. And it will be above the xy plane. What we want to do is we want to evaluate the triple integral over d of, say, y squared z dv. So what we'll do is we'll draw a picture first and we'll help you see what's going on. So there's the axes. So this cone, this cone opens down, has a vertex up at nine. So like this. I won't draw the back just yet. The sphere that it's outside is the sphere of radius 1, so this is out at 9. The sphere is actually fairly small, it's like in here. I'm not going to draw the bottom, because the thing that we're looking at is above the xy plane. Draw the back of the cone now. So the solid that we've actually got here, so let's, let's just write above xy plane. So the solid that we have is actually really just a cone, um, like a solid cone with a small hemisphere drilled out. All right, so another picture might be something like this. And this little hemisphere has been drilled out. So way under here is the hemisphere. A hole or a dip, if you like, or an indentation. So when we integrate this, in fact, two of the, the, um, the variables are easy to see. So the following, right? um, as usual, as the previous two examples, we see theta goes 0 to 2 pi. And then phi, phi goes from straight up to the xy plane. So we see phi goes from 0 to pi over 2. If that's not clear, we can uh, just draw a little picture on the side here. Just to clarify, here's the cone shape. That's a little uh, overzealous, but that's alright. With its indentation, there is the origin right in the middle. Right there. So if you look straight up, there is D. And the D goes all the way to the horizontal. There's D in here. And then it stops here at pi over 2. Starts here at 0. That gives us our uh, V values. The one that's sort of a bit weird here is uh, how about rho? So again, let me just draw one more picture. I'm going to exaggerate the picture a bit in the sense that I'll make the hemisphere bit just a bit bigger, just to get a feel for what's going on. So what you want to do again, is like we did before, is you want to put yourself at the origin. Suppose you're right here at the origin, and you take a trip out through D. So you get nothing, you're in empty space until you hit the sphere, then you're in D until you hit the code, and then you're out. So the inside function, the near function, the one we hit first, we first hit or coming outwards, we first hit the sphere. This is um, x squared plus y squared plus c squared equals 1, so this is rho equals 1. That's nice and easy. So second, 
we hit the code. Now the code's a bit weird, right? This is the code. C equals 9 minus square root of x squared plus y squared. This is not at all in spherical. We need this as rho equals something. So we do a giant conversion, which seems a bit messy, but isn't so bad. All right, so let's plug in what we know. We know that z is rho cosine phi. That's 9 minus the square root. We know that x squared is rho squared sine squared phi. Square roots and the squares cancel, and we get rho cosine phi equals 9 minus rho sine phi. We need to solve for phi, so we should get everything on one side and factor it out. So rho cosine phi plus sine phi equals 9. So then rho equals 9 over cosine phi plus sine phi. So that's that cone in spherical. So the reason I wanted to do this is just to point out that that is totally not at all obviously a cone. Like it's not. When you look at that equation, your brain wouldn't think cone, but that's what it is. So therefore we can say at the end of the day here that rho goes from 1 to this thing, this 9 divided by cosine phi plus sine phi. So finally, we can finish up. We can see that the integral over d of y squared z dv, this will be long and messy, um, this is 0 to 2 pi, then we have 0 to pi of 2, we have these icky ones, we have from 1 to 9 over cosine phi plus sine phi. Then we have the y squared z. So y we know is rho sine phi sine theta. That's squared. The z we know, the z is the rho cosine phi. And we have the Jacobian. That's the rho squared sine phi. And we have the d rho, d, v, d, theta. So just to sort of summarize all this stuff at the end, this is the y squared, this is the z, this is the Jacobian. And that's the final answer that gets evaluated. Again, messy as all get out, but that's the thing that'll do the job.